Are you bored or just looking for some inspiration on what to paint? Don't worry, I've got you covered. Today I've got some fun and creative gouache painting ideas for you. Let's head right in. So for the first one, I'm going to use this sketchbook. It's a Hannemühle watercolor sketchbook with this gray kind of paper. And I'm going to use my Karen Dash gouache and some various round brushes. And then I start to paint some donuts. I've actually never painted donuts before. I don't think which is very surprising because this is such a good and simple idea especially for a beginner or if you just want a simple project where you can listen to your favorite audiobook or whatever and just shut off your brain and have fun and enjoy painting something and it's gonna look very cute very easily so this is really not that hard and you can make it more simple or a little bit more detailed depending on what what you want or what you're already capable of doing. So you can see that I kind of blended the frosting a little bit in different colors because I wanted to, it to have a little bit more depth. But even if you don't do that, even if you paint the frosting in just one color, it still looks fun. It's such a cool idea and you can go even more into detail and add even more stuff than I did here. I already added quite a lot. I added sprinkles and all kinds of stuff and I made all of these kinds of fun donuts. The only thing that I would do differently if I were to do it again is I would give every donut a frosting. I for some reason didn't do that because I thought why would I paint all of them with a frosting but now the ones that don't have one they look kind of weird. This one has sprinkles but nothing underneath. Probably something like that exists somewhere out there. I don't know, but it doesn't look that much like a donut to me. Um, yeah, that's just a small little detail. I don't hate it. I still think it looks fun. And I loved to paint all of these colorful details and all of these chocolate splatters and stuff like that. And it really does not have to be perfect in order to be cute. So I feel like this is a really, really good idea if you're just starting out or just want something something to fill your sketchbook with and you can do as many or as little as you want. You can just paint one donut or you can fill the entire page spread like I did here. For the next one I'm bringing out one of my favorite coloring books again. This one I bought at a local bookstore and it's a German book but honestly this works with any kind of coloring book and I'm using acrylic gouache for this one because this gouache has a little bit of a thinner consistency consistency, meaning that I don't have to add as much water. So it works really well with a coloring page that's not really meant for gouache that much or for watercolors. It has just a regular paper. It's a little bit thicker than a printer paper, but it's not meant to be painted on. So I thought that acrylic gouache would be perfect for this. And also because I'm kind of just filling stuff in and have this specific style. But honestly, this would also work with traditional gouache, with water-soluble gouache. Just make sure that you don't put too much water on that paper so it doesn't buckle if you paint directly in your coloring book. But I've also in the past, when I wanted to color in the pages with watercolors, I have just transferred the lines onto a watercolor paper and then I filled that in. And it was also really fun to do. This way, without transferring, it's just a little bit easier and a little bit quicker. But honestly, this took quite a while. I sat for a while on this. I had a lot of fun. It was really good because this is something, you know, where you also really don't have to think as much. You don't have to think of the design. You don't think have to think about the layout of it all. And you just color it in with the colors that you feel like using at that moment. And I had a really really good time with this one and at first I was using fairly muted colors. I used some black and some muted pink tones and some teal colors and I really like those colors but then I thought okay it just needs a little bit more something. It needs to pop a little bit more so I added in more vibrant colors in the end and I really had a good time with this one. You can see that I kind of splattered a bit of 
of paint outside of the design and later on I'm going to color the entire background of the page black for some reason and I really don't know why I don't really like the little things on top and on the bottom of these pages I really love the central design and everything that is in the circle but all of the other things they feel like an afterthought they don't really do much for me and when I color in these pages I uh, often don't color in these little doodles on the in the borders of the page and so I didn't color these in this this time I just covered them up I hope nobody will be upset with me in the comments because I did that but there's so many more pages in there with these kinds of doodles and maybe I will leave those next time I do this this is the first time I've actually done this and done a coloring page with gouache usually I just use pens I use whatever I have or some pencils and fill my uh, coloring books with those but I really thought this could be a really good idea for gouache and it actually worked really well the only issue was you can kind of see on the bottom right that my paint kind of splattered I, I probably put my hand into wet paint let's be honest and so I have this little blob and I couldn't really cover it up anymore because I didn't have the specific color anymore when I realized that this blob was there so I just left it because I didn't want to remix the color to cover it up that was the only issue that I had honestly with this and also the fact that I covered up the lines of the coloring book of the page because gouache is an opaque medium so I I was a little bit careful to keep the lines I wasn't honestly I wasn't sure if I wanted the lines or not if I were to do it again I would completely paint over all of the lines I feel like that would look much much better and work much better with the gouache look but I kind of kept the lines and I even uh, drew over them again with a pen you can see it now I reinforced all of those lines all of these outlines and it has a different look I don't know I probably prefer uh, the non-outlined version now before I uh, reinforce the rest of the outlines you can see I'm painting the background I really wanted to see how it looks with the background first and so I just used black for bigger areas like this I really recommend using a color that you don't have to mix because in the past I've mixed some kind of dark blue or dark purple or something like that and then I colored in and then I ran out of paint halfway through and it's just so hard to remix gouache the exact same way that you have it the first time so I just used the black straight out of the tube for this so that it would be exactly the same everywhere and the it wouldn't be streaky so here you can see the finished product I'm fairly happy with this and I had a lot of fun with this one so I recommend doing something like that for the next one we're going to do another very very simple idea I have this book called everyday watercolor and there was this cactus in it and I felt really inspired to recreate that because it seemed just the right amount of simple but it still kind of has a cool effect and so I pretty much recreated that one it's obviously originally done with watercolors because it's a watercolor book but I did it with gouache and I also changed the colors a bit I, instead of the green I used teal because that's my favorite color and I also used a slightly different pink tone for the flowers and just changed it up slightly for my own taste but I went with this idea and I feel like this is so cute I really love this cactus and it was probably the quick painting of this video so if you're looking for something that's super quick and simple then this may be the one or just paint one donut but um, these are really really good ideas if you just want to fill your sketchbook or just practice and and have a good and positive experience with your gouache essentially so here you can see how this one looked when it was finished and then on the left side I decided to draw a ferris wheel which sounds very very random 
but I was re-listening to the Evermore album by Taylor Swift and I'm just so inspired by her music lately. I've loved her music for a long time, let's be honest, but I love her lyrics so much because she has so many metaphors and so many visual descriptions of it all. And in the song Coney Island, she says she's sitting on the park bench in Coney Island where they used to meet. And now he's not there anymore. She's wondering, where did my baby go? That's the lyrics. I'm sitting on a bench in Coney Island wondering where did my baby go and um, it, it's kind of this image where th this was usually the fun the fun location where they met and it's such an upbeat location but it just isn't that anymore and it kind of inspired me into painting this overgrown ferris wheel where you know this was once a location where people went and had fun but now it isn't anymore it's overgrown and it probably doesn't work anymore or it's at least not functional right now and you can see nature is kind of taking it back and coming back that's all my thing that's not in the song but that's kind of where the painting went and how it developed and I was also listening to all of the other songs on the album and there's the song Ivy obviously where she says my house of stone your ivy grows and now I'm covered in you and then there's the song long story short I survived and it kind of feels like nature survived and is coming back I don't know this has a lot of meanings but I had a lot of fun with this one and I am planning to do more Taylor Swift fan art in the future. Again make sure that you check out the complete beginner squash course and if you would like to see more gouache painting ideas check out this video next. <laughs> 